What is going on YouTube? It's your boy with the West Side here bringing you back with another video today. Now today I want to talk to you about this absolutely incredible game that I've been playing recently called Xenoblade Chronicles 2. When the Switch first launched in March of 2017, it was known for basically two games, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Unfortunately, until around about the middle of 2018, there were a lot of amazing games that came out for the Switch that weren't really talked about because you had two strong powerhouses like those and they just kind of snuck under the radar. Now this is one of the bigger secondary titles for the system and it definitely deserves to be. It is a sort of sequel in the same series to Xenoblade Chronicles X which came out for the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS, but up until the point in the story that I'm at now, it definitely does not show. It is a very independent story in the same universe I believe I'm not even sure about that either um, it currently follows a boy named Rex and his companions and I am six hours into this game and it is still setting up the premise for the story I mean it is just chock full of ideas and material the big thing for me is the game on a whole is just absolutely beautiful while not exactly a turn-based combat system the combat is done largely through auto attacking with a series of moves that can only be executed after a certain period of time. However, your position during the battle is always fairly important, so you do have to pay attention to what's happening the entire time. For me, I felt a great deal of stress during each battle because you had your health depleting the entire time, you were attacking and you could watch how little it's doing to the enemy, but then you also have independent timers for each one of your big attacks and watching those count down, waiting to use them and waiting to use certain ones in succession with the other because certain ones work very well with others, it, it just keeps that kind of anticipation building and keeps the stress of, at least for me. I've said for a long time that the Switch is the perfect home for JRPGs and I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 really demonstrates why why that is. Grinding is often very meticulous when you're sent in front of a TV for hours at a time battling the same monsters over and over and over again. So being able to move around and not be forced to dedicate all of your attention to a TV set is definitely nice. However, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 also doesn't have an entirely mundane grinding system either. Because monsters are often fought in large open plains, higher level creatures will often randomly spawn and aggro you in the middle of a fight, meaning players have to constantly be alert of what's transpiring around them, and the tide of battle can be changed on an absolute whim. <laughs> While this can be frustrating at times, it's much more of a benefit than an overall detriment. Speaking of frustrations, I couldn't do a proper review for this game without acknowledging the voice acting. For some reason, they decided to give all the human characters Scottish voice actors. In general, I don't find this to be much of an issue. I really do enjoy the performance given by Al Weaving and the rest of the cast, but I do understand why certain people can be turned off by this. Just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex a little tactless. Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... Ooh, she heavier than Tora for sure. Are you sure about that? That said, the battles have to be the absolute worst offender in this regard, because the characters converse with each other incessantly the entire time when there's no real need for it. It's rather auditorily aggravating, especially with a character named Tora. I recommend going into your settings and turning down the volume for character voices to a minimal level. I wouldn't turn it off entirely, because hearing the dull roar of interactions is actually quite pleasant and hearing the characters talk while free roaming adds to the overall experience, but what I can tell you is when you're constantly hearing the same lines over and over and over and over again, it can become very aggravating and it can wear on your nerves very quick. Aside from this, the sound is actually very incredible. The musical score is enticing and peaceful and so nice to listen to. I actually have a problem right now where if I play it late at night, it will put me to sleep because the music is just so incredible. And a lot of times I like to run around empty towns just to hear the sounds of the game. The torches crackle like actual flames, the wooden boards you run around creak and thump, the gravel crunches while you walk, it's such a consistently exceptional experience. I know these things sound like they don't matter, but when you've got a company that pays that much attention to detail for small things like that, it really shows you how much love and care was put in this game and can make your overall experience much more enjoyable. I'm not anywhere near the ending of Xenoblade 2 yet, but what I can definitely say is that I am enjoying all of the hours I've played so much, more so than a game like Super Mario Odyssey. A lot of this is due to personal taste and enjoyment, but what I will say is I think it deserves to be talked about in the same breath as your Breath of the Wild 
worlds as your Super Mario Odyssey because this game is made on that level of exceptionalism and care. All in all, I would put this on my list of necessary Switch experiences, if not gaming experiences in general. It is just that good. There are very few games that will ever reach that, but when you're looking at console exclusives that you need to play if you have that console, I think Xenoblade Chronicle 2 embodies everything you'd want that game to be. So if you have played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, please let me know what you thought of it in those comments down below. I'm genuinely curious, you know, this game I think has been heralded very, very well, but you so rarely hear people talk about it, both back when it came out and now, unless you're avidly looking for information on it, I would love to hear more people share their opinions online. So please let me know what you thought about it. If you liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like down below, and if you like what you're seeing on the channel in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like we always say here, I hope to see you around sometime.